What's going on there, guys? We back with another one, and today we got to talk about something a little serious with Adrian Peterson and everything that's going on with him. Now, Adrian Peterson came out a few months ago after Don Kleiman released a report saying that Adrian is selling off his MVP trophies and all of his accolades, all of his memorabilia that he has. Adrian Peterson had came out and refuted that, and this is what he said. I want to clarify our recent rumors and media reports and a state sale company without my authorization included some of my trophies in the sale, despite clear instructions to leave personal items untouched. I did not authorize the sale of any of my trophies and I will be taking legal action. Trusting this company without supervision was my mistake. We allowed them to go into several of our storage units with clear instructions. They clearly did something unlawful. I want to emphasize that I am financially, financially stable. It would never sell off my hard earned trophies. And if I was gonna sell them, I know people that I can sell them to. I wouldn't go online and sell my, my, my personal items uh, randomly. So let that sink in. It's concerning that the media outlets did not um, verify this information with my publicist or me, because a lot of you guys have my number. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I just wanted to address this and, and put in my own words because people have been texting me um, here the, the past hour. But um, it's all good. I'm going to go upstairs and um, continue to praise God and celebrate. I'm not going to let the devil win. God bless. Have a wonderful night. So here we are some months removed from that video. And here's what we know about what's going on with Adrian Peterson. Houston judge rules he owes $12 million in debt. Judge orders Peterson to turn over assets to cover the debt. Constables will accompany Peterson during the seizure of the assets to cover the debt. Where did this all come from? The order is the latest in a long legal battle to get Peterson to pay back a $5.2 million loan he took out from a Pennsylvania lending company in 2016 that was supposed to pay back other lenders according to court records. That debt has led to an $8.3 million judgment against him in 2021, plus $15,000 in attorney fees with a 9% annum on all amounts according to the receiver's court filing. The approximate collection total is $12.5 million. Robert Burliff, the court-appointed receiver, also has accused Peterson of playing a shell game with his assets to avoid payment. In February, a sports memorabilia auction in Texas got caught in the middle of it when it attempted to sell off Peterson's personal items, including several NFL trophies and jerseys. This is what Burliff said about the failed auction. The receiver intercepted an auction. The debtor, Peterson, initiated and seized items at storage facilities leased and secured with lock by debtor Peterson. Burlis said in court documents, the assets belong to the debtor. The leases at the leases at the storage facilities were delinquent. The debtor contested the sale of trophies. So how did we even get here? Why did Peterson have to take out that loan is what many may be asking. Peterson took out the loan in October 2016 and promised to pay it back with interest in March 2017, five months later. According to the agreement, he sought the money so he could pay back other loans. But Peterson was coming off of a knee injury in 2016 and the Vikings declined to pick up the $18 million option on his contract in early 2017 turning Peterson into a free agent. Peterson's earnings fell dramatically after that, never exceeding $3.5 million annually. He hasn't played in the NFL since 2021. So, okay, here we go. Adrian Peterson, obviously, was expecting to make that money back with the Vikings, came off the injury, didn't get the money he was seeking, and already had built up a massive amount of debt he was counting on his next contract for. And this is just a sad case and you see um, what can happen in professional sports and you know you see why some people are so frugal you see chad ochocinco often talk about being very frugal uh with his spendings and you can see why uh 
once you pay everybody and god forbid if you look out for certain people uh to an extent you end up in these type of predicaments even after amassing a hundred million dollars that can be very depressing even more depressing than someone who has never had it because you go from having it and you have the um the mentality of thinking like man what could i have done better with my finances when i was in position uh to not be in this position you know why was i taking out loans towards the end of my career we saw adrian peterson keeping jobs with teams you know in, in the um twilight years of his career and it led us to believe like a player of that caliber shouldn't just be trying to make the second string and third string that late not at that position you know and we knew something was going on there because this is public information but now we see just how dire it was he was trying to make sure he could continue to pay on those things and the reason i say it could be more uh frustrating than someone who's never had it is because now you feel like your top earning potential has passed you by um although i think there's some things adrian peterson could do maybe he could do a podcast maybe he could maybe there's something he possibly could do to build his net worth uh back up and, and take care of this stuff and, and really put himself back in position um but it makes sense now why he put that video out because the lender um and, and the people that were are trying to get their money back is saying that he tried to go behind their back and have that auction to um you know get those things out of his possession so he wouldn't have to pay it back you know and maybe uh go go take some other channel and, and try to get out of it but um you know they were tipped off about it and they were able to go and, and um stop the sale or, or do whatever they had to do right but 12.5 million dollars and a lot of this is coming off of that injury uh off of accrued interest over time and he was expecting to try to pay some of this stuff back he got that 18 million dollar contract he's trying to knock out most of this stuff and it's just built up over years and years and years and while he was still making millions he that was only enough to survive off of he wasn't making enough you know to um pay it off now probably could have flipped that a little better um but again he was probably already paying just trying to pay some of that stuff down and again probably thinking that that contract was coming in so this is a sad case man um of a guy who's a superstar in the nfl well top tier running back and you know to live your years after your glory days like this you know he, he'll bounce back you know i'm hoping but man we, we got to be careful when we get our finances like that you know just if you made a hundred million dollars look at it like you only made about 35 or 40 you know at the end of the day just look at it like that and, and treat it as 35 or 40 million that you actually can have you treat it like that you, you'll be all right you know but you know you can't live like because you brought in a hundred million dollars that it's all yours and you know you can just spend frivolous frivolously with it um but again i know he was a younger man at the time man i want to know what you guys think about this story it's a sad situation man and i want to report on it I always like adrian peterson's game and some of the things he he stood for but let me know what you guys think don't forget to like share and subscribe to next time peace